Hey everyone, today's lesson is all about practicing one way we can raise our self-esteem. But before I get to that, I just want to talk about a couple of things that I've been noticing over these first couple days of distance learning. Number one, Schoology has been crashing a lot. It's not been working for you and it's not been working for me and I'm sure that's very frustrating for you because you have a set time that you want to work on your assignments and get some things done. And I'm very sorry things are not working that way or working optimally for you, but I ask that you be patient. I have no control over it. You have no control over it. I've been noticing that in the morning, it seems to be when it is overloaded the most. I don't think Schoology anticipated how many people were actually gonna be using their platform at the same time. So hopefully in the next couple days, they'll get a really good fix for it. But in the meantime, if you try to load a play posit or a video and it's not working for you, just set aside, work on something else or go outside for a walk or get some exercise or something and come back to it later. Um, Cause again, if it's not working for you, it's not working for me either. And I will help you troubleshoot as much as you can. Um, if it's like a video's not loading, it's always better if you message me and send me a screenshot of what exactly your screen looks like. Like if you're getting a restricted message, that just helps me uh, rule out some possible technology issues that may be causing you not to be able to access the things that you need to. In addition with those play posits, if you, your play posit is taking forever to load, sometimes play posit isn't the best to use in the Schoology app. So I would suggest going into Google Chrome and logging into Schoology and accessing the PlayPosit that way. For some reason, that PlayPosit works a little better in Google Chrome than it does in the Schoology app. So try that first before you message me about how it's not loading. I want you to try every possibility before you come to me. Number two, the office hours that I sent out. Some people were signing up for them and either not showing up till they meet or thought they had to, like it was required. I just wanna reiterate that those office hours are not required. The only people they are required for are those who have not presented their self-identity presentations for me yet. And I probably contacted you yesterday if you are one of those people and haven't signed up for time yet. So make sure um, if you haven't presented yet that you do so. But the office hours for everyone else are completely optional. They're only there if you have like a couple questions or want to talk to me about something, an assignment or whatever over a video chat. Sometimes it's faster than typing out an entire Schoology message and then waiting for my response. You can get a, a quicker response over a video chat. So if you prefer to do things that way, that's what those office hours are for. But it is by no means required for you. It's just another option uh, to access my help and another resource. If you're in hours one, three, and five, or the odd hours, today is Friday, and I'm posting grades today, so make sure you check campus at some point today, because I'll put those in at 3.05 is when I'll be posting those. Make sure you check campus for your grades and make sure you have everything in and what your grade is what it should be. If you're in an even hour, sorry, I posted grades on Friday, but you should still go into campus and check to make sure your grade is exactly what it should be. Again, if you have any questions about any of these things, please feel free co to contact me. All right, let's get to today's assignment. I do have a video that goes over what um, our assignment is about and surprise, it's about gratitude. So that's what we're gonna be practicing today because gratitude is one thing that you can do for your mental health that is so good for it. It is one of those things that studies show we get the most benefits towards our mental health. Um, but it also helps raise self-esteem. So I have a short video that I created about what gratitude is. And I also inserted another video into that that is basically what you guys are gonna be doing today. So for your assignment, after watching that video, you are going to choose somebody in your life that you are grateful for. So this could be a parent, it could be a sibling, it could be a friend, it could be aunt, uncle, grandparent, a friend's mom, a neighbor, anyone that you are very appreciative and thankful that they're in your life. However, the only um, caveat or 
thing that you must be able to do is you have to be able to speak with this person as part of this assignment. So it doesn't have to be in person. It would be great if it was, but it has to be at least on the phone or through a video chat. It can't be over text message or email or anything like that. You have to physically be able to hear the other person's voice and they hear your voice. So you're gonna pick one person, write their name in this space, and then you're going to write a letter to that person that is at least one paragraph long. So at least seven sentences detailing how grateful you are to have this person in your life. And be detailed. Tell them the qualities you appreciate in them or how they've personally affected your life in a positive way. You should write to this as though you are addressing the person directly and describe what the person has done that makes you grateful and how they have impacted your life and how you remember their, how frequently you remember their act of kindness or generosity. So this is where you would start your letter. I gave you some space there. You can definitely write more than seven sentences, but you have to have, that's a minimum requirement. You have to have at least seven sentences. All right, and then the third part of this letter is that you have to share what you wrote with them. And this is where we get the most benefits of practicing gratitude. If you're writing a letter to someone that you're grateful for, that is really good for your mental health. You get benefits for that. But we get the most out of sharing our letter because guess what? You feel good about sharing this with the other person and they feel great, right? We like to hear positive things about us ourselves. So you have to share it with them either over the phone, video chat, or in person. Again, you can't just write it out in a text message. You have to physically, or they have to physically be able to hear your voice and you theirs. Um, so here are some things that you should be doing while you are um, reading your letter. So ask them not to interrupt you until you're done reading the letter. So don't let them interject in the middle of your reading. Take your time reading the letter. While you read to pay attention to how you are reacting and how the person are reacting to your letter. And after reading the letter, listen to their reaction to the letter. So be ready to discuss your feelings together because that might happen. And then lastly, or the last part of this assignment is to reflect on the following three questions in three sentences each. So again, you can write more than three sentences, but it has to be at least three. So tell me what you, the recipient's reaction to your letter was. So when you read the letter to whoever you wrote your letter to, what was their reaction? And then how did you feel while reading this letter? Did you not really care? Did you get something out of it? Like did making the other person feel good make you also feel good? And then did you read the letter out loud to the recipient or did reading the letter out loud to the recipient increase your self-esteem. So did it make you more joyful? So answer those three questions and submit your assignment to the Dropbox on Schoology. And that is it. If you have any questions about this, feel free to contact me. Again, those office hours, Schoology message, what have you. Multiple ways for me to get in contact. Email is fine too. So I hope you guys enjoy this assignment. I'm really excited about it because again, this is so good for our mental health. And that's what the goal is, right? We want to practice things and, and uh, try new things to help raise our mental health. So good luck and have a great day.